My name is Erik Wallin, and this is our presentation of the paper Improving OpenSet Semi-Supervised Learning with Self-Supervision for WACV 2024. The authors of this paper are myself, Lennart Svensson, Fredrik Karl, and Lars Amarstrand. Semi-supervised learning is a paradigm of machine learning where only part of training data are labeled and typically a much larger part are unlabeled. A majority of works in semi-supervised learning consider a closed set setting, where we assume that the unlabeled data only contain data from the same classes as the labeled set. For example, if we are training a model to classify cats and dogs, we assume that the unlabeled data only contains images of cats and dogs. However, in practice, as we do not want to manually verify all unlabeled data, it might be difficult to ensure that the unlabeled data don't contain, for example, unknown classes, outliers, or corrupt samples. OpenSet semi-supervised learning is a more realistic setting of semi-supervised learning, where we assume that the unlabeled data may contain unknown classes. This figure illustrates this setting for image classification. The labeled set contains images of fish and frog. The unlabeled set contains images of fish and frog, but also of the unknown classes building and car. Here we use the abbreviations ID for in distribution, denoting the known classes present in the labeled training set, and OOD, out of distribution, for the unknown classes that appear in the unlabeled set. The goal in OpenSet semi-supervised learning is typically to train a model that reaches high classification accuracy on the in-distribution classes. Additionally, if unknown classes appear in training, it is reasonable to assume that these classes can also appear in deployment, which makes it important to identify these unknown classes at test time as a binary classification problem. Many existing methods for OpenSet semi-supervised learning use an approach in which we try to identify which samples from unlabeled data belong to the ID classes. These data are then used in a standard SSL scheme for training the model. We instead propose to learn unconditionally from all unlabeled data using self-supervision. Additionally, we incorporate an energy-based method to identify which samples belong to the known classes and which do not. The energy-based auto-distribution detection is proposed in this new RIPS paper. It is a scalar computed as the log of the sum of the exponent of the predicted logits from the neural network. This score will generally take lower values for ID data than for OOD data. Compared to the commonly used baseline of the maximum softmax confidence, this score is theoretically aligned with the input density and has less overconfidence issues. Our proposed framework is CFOS, a self-supervision-centric framework for OpenSet semi-supervised learning. This slide summarizes how unlabeled data are utilized in this framework. CFOS learns from all unlabeled data by applying a self-supervised loss on all samples. For data that are predicted as inliers, we apply a standard pseudo-labeling loss. For likely outliers, we use an energy regularization to push up the energies for these data, with the purpose to enhance performance for open set recognition. The energy thresholds used to sort data are adaptively set based on the statistics of training data. To evaluate our proposed framework, we use pairs of datasets using one as ID and the other as OOD, or in the case of the ImageNet subset, by using 20 classes as ID and 10 as OOD. We assess performance by evaluating the accuracy on the known classes and the AUROC for the binary ID or OD classification. Here we compare with the SSL baseline fixed match and existing methods for OSSL. 
top rows show closed set accuracy and bottom rows show AU ROC for OOD detection. We see that CFOS displays strong results for both closed set accuracy and OOD detection across all evaluated problems. OpenMatch performs slightly better when C410 is ID. However, OpenMatch shows significant performance drops in other scenarios. Worth noting is also that the best performing method when looking at closed set accuracy only is the SSL baseline fix match. To conclude, we show that cell supervision together with energy-based out-of-distribution detection can be used in open-set semi-supervised learning for strong and robust results. Additionally, we show that the SSL baseline fix match can be used for OSSL if we only care about closed set accuracy, highlighting that open set recognition is the main challenge in the OSSL problem.